In the tribal society, every full moon had a name, and it was associated to what was going on in nature at that time. The full moon in Capricorn happening in July received the name the Buck Full Moon. And this is because that at that time of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, the new baby bucks that were now teenagers were growing their antlers and actually getting bigger and fuller. So this symbolism is really appropriate for the full moon in Capricorn. Capricorn is the builder. The house that you have Capricorn on, this is where you're building security. This is where you're building some system that is substantial for your life and for your security. Let's delve into it and unpack this full moon. In astrology, nothing really stands alone. A full moon is connected to the new moon that was just before that. And it is also connected to the rest of the planets and their position. So every full moon in Capricorn would be a little bit different. It depends where the slow moving planets are and where the quick moving planets are and what kind of aspects do we get. And as always, there is a general vibration, general meaning, general influence of a full moon for the collective and then it would meet you personally wherever it is in your chart and whatever aspect it is making to your natal planet but in general the sign capricorn is the sign of social responsibility the house that you have capricorn on is where you want to build something substantial where you want to create results where you want to achieve something and be known for it you want people to compliment you for that accomplishment in that house. However, we all know that Capricorn is ruled by Saturn and Capricorn house will have its challenges because it will bring some responsibilities and some limitations. So in your Capricorn house, those responsibilities will make you grow faster, make you mature, make you take responsibilities and take care of things and produce results because this is how we show up. Saturn, the ruler of Capricorn, is the taskmaster. It is also the lord of karma. And why is that? Because Saturn is responsible for the structure. It is responsible for the structure of our bodies. And thank goodness for that because otherwise we would be swimming in a sea of vibrations and we would not enjoy the earthy life that we have currently in a body and the body has senses. We may get the restriction of being constricted into a body, but we get the benefits of enjoying the senses, how good it is to eat, to enjoy sensuality, to have vision, to hear, to listen to music, to travel, to walk, to enjoy physicality. Those are all territories of our body, and the body, as we know, is limited. So is Capricorn. Capricorn wants things to be tangible. And in this earth plane that we all live in and we all share, we like tangible results. And therefore, your Capricorn house would be that place where you produce tangible results. And in order to produce those results, you have to show up. You have to take responsibility and you have to keep putting the work, doing some hard work in order to achieve those results and then achieve a level of proficiency and maybe a level of mastery and become that wise person that can teach others. And this is the highest level of Saturn, the wise teacher, isn't it? Two weeks ago, we had a new moon in Gemini and we set our intention. What, what did you ask for? What did you want to manifest in your life? You know, um, manifestation is the process of Saturn because we want to manifest something in physical reality. So it's always related to Saturn. And I think this full moon is going to show us, are we manifesting? How are we manifesting? And what is the process of manifesting? How do we create this magic from ideas, from the ether, from spirituality from thought into matter. So let me share my screen and let's see what this full moon is going to bring us. 
Here is the chart for the full moon in Capricorn happening on July 3rd, 2023 at 4.39 a.m. Pacific Day Time. Right away, we can see that the sun is at 11 degrees and 19 minutes of Cancer and the moon is at 11 degrees and 19 minutes of Capricorn. Now, this axis of Cancer Capricorn is the axis of family. And by that, I want to say that this is the axis of conditioning, past conditioning from our family. When we are born, we're born to a family represented by Cancer. And this is tradition represented by Capricorn. This is the structure of where we're coming from. And the axis of Cancer Capricorn, Cancer is the nurturer, Capricorn is the father figure, is the structure that is holding us into a situation. We're all coming from a certain culture that had an imprint on our life, and we are playing out that imprint until we decide to check if it's a good match for us or not. Now, Pluto has been transiting Capricorn since 2008. Pluto has been changing the way we perceive structure, the way we perceive security, the way we perceive our tradition. And this has been going on for quite a long time. And Pluto's job is to transform and dissolve that which is not working for us anymore. And Pluto actually is dissolving all the systems, all the old systems that are not serving us, old ideas, old concepts, old boxes of behavior, old requirements. But through Pluto's transit through Capricorn, we've learned that the, some of the old is not serving us. It is holding us in a controlled way instead of let us flourish and move forward. And therefore, this full moon in Capricorn is suggesting an end of an era. Because Pluto is at 29 degrees Capricorn, it already went into Aquarius, kind of gave, gave us a preview, a little few months in Aquarius, gave us a, a new fresh air. We saw the AI coming strongly into the planet. Some new inventions are coming and people are coming together saying, we want freedom. We want to be who we are. People are gathering in new communities, which is all a projection of the new age of Aquarius. So Pluto came back into Capricorn saying, I need to finish some work. And we all are closing a major chapter in our life. Um, a, a, an old way of being, an old way of thinking about what life is, what kind of structure life should have, and how do we fit into that structure? And is it really true for ourselves? Many of us are waking up on the planet at the moment saying, well, there are choices and we may choose something completely different than what we had chosen in the past. There is a major global awakening. People are awakening to a deeper truth, which Pluto is responsible to seek a deeper truth and eliminate that which is not working. And part of it is controlled by a system that is outdated and need a big update into the 21st century or maybe into the future, which Aquarius represent. So we're all dealing with it. Each and every one of you has Capricorn somewhere in your chart. And that house has been going through a major transformation for quite a while. And um, you know what you're dealing with. It, it, it's not new. It has been showing up for the last uh, year and a half or so. And now you're dealing with the end of it. But there are st still bits and pieces for you um, to put an end to and close those doors behind you in order for you to be free. That is the thing. Pluto is stripping us from unnecessary heaviness, from unnecessary things. When we are so afraid to let go of something and the other side of fear, there is freedom. And this is the trajectory that we're all on right now. We're letting go of something that we thought that is so important in our life. But once we make that shift, the jump, and we jump, we will discover how light it is and how free it is to be on the other side. So where do you have Capricorn in your chart? This house is being light up for you, and this full moon will highlight what it is that you're letting go of and what is the premise and the promise of being a new in this life department. So maybe it's work related or relationship related or family re related 
or some creative endeavor or money related, wherever it is for you, you need to update some beliefs in regards to what it is that you're letting go and find the blessing within it because there is a blessing. And the blessing is that Pluto is in a sextile position to Neptune. Now, Neptune has been in Pisces since 2012. That's quite a long time. What Neptune is doing in Pisces is connecting all of us as a collective and as individuals into higher realms of spirituality. Neptune in Pisces is so lucid. It's so intangible. It is creativity. It is spirituality. It is our connection to God, to the universe, to other realms of existence, to vibration, vibrational medicine, vibrational understanding that we swim in a vibrational existence. Saturn went into Pisces this last March saying, I'm going to bring form into this unformed territory, which is Pisces. Let's see what it is that is called manifestation in physical reality, Saturn, through swimming in an ocean of vibration, Pisces. And so this full moon is going to show us an opportunity to discover something between Pluto and Neptune, two big planets. This is the backdrop story. It's a big story that's going on. How do you manifest? What do you manifest? And we all know that our thoughts create our reality, but how? How is it being done? I think we're going to discover much more about that, and especially the transit of Saturn in Pisces that is going to take two and a half years until it will move into Aries. And so Saturn will show us how to take that vast unconscious, collective unconscious, and bring those vibration and galactic transmissions and knowledge into coherent forms. Because after all, we are of the human species. And as such, we live in a body that is like a biological machine, and it has a form and a system that is working it. And we live on a planet that is very physical. And we all want to create physical results in reality. This is really important because Saturn is the ruler of this full moon. And Saturn in Pisces retrograding will kind of take us into a reality check saying, what is important? Where is your focus? Because where focus goes, energy flows. So wherever you put your focus, that's the results you're going to create in your life. We all want to be worthy of appreciation. But in order to do that, we have to walk our talk. And by walking our talk, we have to show up again and again and again, relentlessly. The house that you have Capricorn on is the house where you need to do some hard work, where you need to keep showing up with integrity and keep doing the work. And if you do, you will have immense results. That is the beauty of showing up. So this full moon is talking about reaping rewards of perseverance. Where is it that you kept showing up and putting your effort? What did you do in the past few months or few years that you kept your energy there? You kept showing up. You kept doing the job. Maybe now is the time during this full moon to reap the rewards of your hard work. Or if you didn't show up and you didn't put in the effort, maybe it's time to look at your life and decide what it is that you want. You know, we live in a world with so many distractions. Everybody wants your attention. And it's really hard to concentrate. But if we don't concentrate, we don't reach the results that we want. So maybe it's time to create a list of your goals. I really like that story about Warren Buffett. It's called the 525 Warren Buffett rule. And Warren Buffett had a, a pilot that was working for him. And uh, after 10 years, he said to the pilot, why are you still working for me? I, uh, I didn't teach you good enough because you should have moved and climbed up already to a different position. What are you still doing? So let me ask you, what are your 25 goals? So he made the pilot make a list of 25 goals and the pilot came with the list and Buffett said, so what are your five 
main priorities from all those goals. So the pilot made the list and list the five main priorities that he had in, on the top of the list. And then Buffett said, so what are you going to do with the rest of the 20 goals that you have? And the pilot said, well, I'm going to, in my spare time or in the evening or at night, I'm going to attend to those once in a while. And Warren Buffett said, no, no, no. Those, you cross them out and you say, do not follow those goals under any circumstances. And I think it's a nice metaphor because we have a certain amount of energy. And if we want to follow everything, obviously it will dilute the ability to create results. And so when we focus on the five main goals that we have, I think it's good enough because even five can be just over the top. Even one sometimes can be that. So maybe this full moon is a great opportunity to make your list of uh, the main five goals that you want to produce in your life and that you value because what is really important for you and it's a good time to realize what's important and what's not. As you close one door and you realize that that kind of lifestyle is not for you anymore. You're not willing to put up with this anymore. We are moving from being victims and being out of control. And that's the old style of thinking. This is beyond my control. There's somebody did this to me. They did it to me. They are after me. It's always they. Who are they? It's actually us. We're understanding that we live in a, an existence that everything we see is a mirror. And if we want the mirror to be different, we have to change something within ourselves. We have to take responsibility for who we are and how we act and how we treat ourselves, because this will reflect in the outside world and will reflect in our life. Maybe it's time to understand that this victimhood perception does not work anymore. It's a vibrational universe that we live in, Neptune in Pisces, and Saturn is coming to give it some form to create a new system for ourselves, a good system, a system that allows us to be in our truth, to walk our talk, to be authentic and in congruence with what we want to achieve in this uh, soul journey, in this lifetime. And so it's, a, it's an opportunity in this full moon to see all that and realize that uh, it's time to take responsibility. And with responsibility will come results. Another thing that's happening in this full moon is Mars and Venus are together in Leo. Leo is the sign of the heart. So it's about activating your heart chakra and allowing yourself to really be out there with an open heart. You know how it is we were conditioned to conceal our emotions or behave certain ways, and that doesn't work for us anymore. We got the memo that if we walk with an open heart, beautiful things show up, magic shows up, N Neptune in Pisces, Saturn in Pisces. This is the realm of magic. Everything is possible. So what are you calling into your life? What possibilities do you want to see? If you get stuck in the old way of thinking, Capricorn, Saturn, restriction, then you're going to produce the same result. Is that what you want? Or maybe you're going to allow your heart to sing and say, I invite magic into my life and I know that everything is possible if I allow it to be. Um, so it's all about coming back home into our higher self, into our soul self, and allowing that softness of and beauty of existence to permeate into our dense reality uh, in this lifetime and expand our vibrational dimension because we are vibrational beings. And uh, by expanding that, we will connect with more people. We will pay attention to more serendipities. We will see the magic that is happening on a daily basis because we'll become more aware of how we are allowing ourselves to flow better with everything that exists. And then all those beautiful conversations will happen. We'll attract the right people into your life. You will hear the right song or read the, the right book or listen to the right podcast that will keep showing up and leading the way for you because 
you are constantly guided by your Neptune, wherever that may be in your chart. And you're constantly guided by your spirit and your soul, because this is why you came here. This is what you came here to do. And by paying attention to that guidance, maybe it's going to make you more sensitive to how you manifest reality. And so it's a beautiful full moon allowing us to see the magic in the making and how we can create the results that we want in any department of our life, whether it is your health that you want to make better or whether it is you want to get that new job or learn that new skill or create that beautiful relationship and create more abundance in your life or security. It's time to discard those limiting beliefs and pay attention and learn the magic that you have to create different results in your life. Now in astrology, nothing is isolated. So that full moon is a part of a process that we're all going through. And after this full moon will come a new moon and then another full moon. But the main interesting thing that is going to happen, besides the retrograde of the slow moving planets uh, until October, so that would kind of slow us down a little bit and take us inside in order to see and revise some inner mechanism that we need to revise. Um, so the other thing that is really interesting is the nodes are going to change signs and they're going into Aries North, North Node and Libra South Node. And we're all going to feel that, that shift. It's going to feel like we're going to be more interested in our relationships and relationship dynamics will come to the forefront. And the most important relationship we actually have is with ourselves because that will reflect every other relationship that we have with others. So we're going to be working on that. So there is a shift coming and we all are feeling it. So maybe this full moon in Capricorn is um, making you pay attention to the security that you need, to the social responsibility that you can show up with when you go out there into the world, because we are all in it together. And if we can come with integrity and be socially responsible for our part, then maybe others can learn that behavior and be socially responsible for their part. And so we can grow that social responsibility for each other as a community. Overall, it's time to put together a new upgraded plan for your life. And this plan is a practical plan because Capricorn is a practical sign. So what is it that you want? And what is it that you're manifesting? Is it in alignment with what you want? And if it's not, and during a full moon, there is more light so we can see something, we can, something will be revealed to you if you are creating the life that you want or not. And if it's not, then what do you need to shift? What kind of beliefs are you holding that are not allowing you to reach those goals of yours? Or what kind of perceptions or what kind of story narrative you're telling yourself that is holding you back from achieving whatever it is that you want. Once you change your mind, you change your reality. And you know that. So it's an, always an opportunity to see something that is working or not working and decide on the next step in your evolution. I hope this video helped you kind of make sense of this full moon and what's going on in the cosmos at the moment and what kind of astrology influence we have if you like my video, please comment, like it, share it. This is how I can grow my community. And as always, thank you for watching and take care of yourself. I will see you next time.